And, and why does the primary in New Hampshire have to wait today? Well, because two allegedly conservative justices on the United States Supreme Court have made it clear the rule of law is no longer of any interest to them or this country. Chief Justice John Roberts was joined by an alleged conservative, Amy Coney Barrett, and all three far-left justices, because they always work together, to deny the right of Texas to uphold the law of the land and to uphold the rule of law at all and protect its border. It's truly a heartbreaking opinion that's it's a 5-4 vote, the U.S. Supreme Court greenlighting the ongoing invasion at the southern border because unless the National Guard of Texas is ordered to stay there, nothing else stopping millions of illegals from flying into America is in place. And changing our once great republic forever is underway, destroying once and for all the nation in which we were born. That, of course, is the obvious plan because, look, the only time the Biden administration is willing to fight for the border is when it's fighting to keep it open. That's it. The administration sued Arizona when that state put shipping containers along the border to slow down the flood. They sued when Texas put a barrier in the middle of the Rio Grande River, and now they're suing to remove the razor wire and other barriers that would stymie the mass influx of millions of people that are coming here with no job, no place to live, no way to eat. It truly is the destruction of our nation, and it is what the Democrats want, clearly, Apparently, it's what Chief Justice John Roberts and Amy Coney Barrett want, too. The other four justices, the actual conservatives on the court, rejected the lawsuit, dissented openly. Thomas, Alito, Kavanaugh, Gorsuch all rejected the U.S. government's refusal to enforce the very clear laws regarding the American border. We're at war today. We are. We are at war today with the people in Washington who don't care at all about our sovereignty. Because if they cared about this country and its future, they would have stopped this insanity long ago. But as my mother always used to say, actions speak louder than words. And right now, every action taken by this president and this administration is in front of law-abiding and hard-working Americans in every single corner of the country. The only thing left is to do everything possible to secure a win in November. For if we don't, for if we don't, by the time we get to the next election... It will be, in my opinion, too late to turn this thing around. It may be too late already, but I do see hope with the German farmers and Argentina's Javier Malay and some other bright spots in places like Italy and the Netherlands. But this globalist movement funded by the Chinese Communist Party and others has exactly one major goal, getting rid of the last thing standing in its way, America. America.